Hey guys, welcome to Pro Wrestling 101. Today I really want to talk about uh, something that's very important in, in what we do in the ring, and that's storytelling, putting a match together. Um, a lot of guys, I, I'm not sure I, they realize it or not, but on the independent scene, you know, so many guys go out there and they put together, I mean, they're great athletes, they put together some fantastic uh, combination of high spots, uh, death-defying moves, dives, you know, all this crazy stuff. And, uh, and sometimes they fail to get people. You know, they really don't, the crowd will be dead. You know, they'll cheer for the moves and not really be engaged in the match. So I what I really wanted to go over today is, uh, is quite honestly, you know, how to tell a story. Uh, doing something compelling, because let's face it, guys, you know, pro wrestling, it, we're storytellers. You know, that's what we do. And a lot of guys from my era know this better than anybody in the business. But I think a lot of times the younger generation, especially translated to the indie level, guys have a real hard time. So I always like to start from the finish. You know, what, it, what does the promoter want from the match? You know, so I'll get the finish. I know, hey, you know, I'm going to tombstone you. One, two, three, that's the finish. And then I personally, and a lot of other guys do, we like to go backwards. You know, and a lot of guys don't do this as well is the comeback of a match is the most important. I mean, just picture like a Rocky and Apollo. I know I'm dating myself, believe me, to, uh, you know, 70s stuff. But, uh, you know, Rocky Balboa was getting a crap beat out of him, you know, if the, whole, the whole night, the whole match. And then finally, against all odds, you know, the music starts playing, he makes a comeback. Uh, you know, through everyone's surprise, he's coming, he's coming. He fights to stay alive. And that's what really, you know, pro wrestling is. It's, it's, it's a story of survival. It's, it's a guy, the underdog, fighting from underneath. And then you build and you build. I mean, a lot of guys have a, you know, in a comeback, a heel should be right there for the baby face. Bump, feed, bump, feed. Has to be there because, believe me, in that split second, if a baby face does not have a heel popping up for him, if a heel's just lead assing on the ground and not coming up, you know, the crowd dies. You lose him in a millisecond. So that is so important. So what I like to do, like I said, is I start with the finish and I, then I work my way to the comeback. You know, how do you want to do you want to go into my move set? False finishes, you know, uh, you could exchange right there. I mean, right, that should be the most exciting part of the match, the part of the match with the most urgency. So then, you know, you also have to get some heat on the baby face, right? I mean, what good is a comeback? What good are all these fancy moves if there's no drama? And this is where there's a lack of good heels. And I mean, you know, take your time, be deliberate. And for once, I don't see very many heels on any level being real heels. I mean, heels love to get cheered. They love all that, you know, bullshit. Heels need to cheat. Do so. I mean, Eddie Guerrero was one of the best when he was doing it. I mean, that that tagline, "Lie, steal, and cheat." That's what a heel is, and nobody does it to the perfection of the old day. The Four Horsemen, the Tully Blanchards, the Arn Andersons, the Ric Flairs. I mean, those guys had it down. So cheat, really put a hurting on those guys, and then you know work also to the beginning. You want to, you know, you're starting off cold if there's no issue, depending on where you're set. You know, start some, start an issue. You know, start with basic moves, headlocks. Work it slow. I think this is so important for pacing of a match. So right there, you have a beginning, a middle, and an end. And you know, that's a basic formula. I mean, you know, like anything in life, there's no black and white. There's no right and wrong. But guys, tell a story. It's so important. Go out in your next match. Try it. Believe me, it works. That's just incredible. This is Pro Wrestling 101.